What I was interested to find out was if actually reducing the diameter of the Starship coil makes any difference in its magnetic field. When I talked to uh, Marco Roden uh, a few weeks ago, he said that the diameter made no difference whatsoever. It was the number of turns. And so I made this particular one. This is a three and a half inch uh, star uh, uh, ship coil, 24 points using number 26 uh, enamel wire. And I'm comparing that <coughs> to just one of the windings on the 4-inch uh, Starship, though this Starship is a, uh, um, a bifiler winding. I did not use the bifiler winding nor the uh, C-field winding around the perimeter. So uh, I made a test stand. It's not finished yet, but I needed to... Uh, have some way of measuring the uh, magnetic field generated by these coils. So um, later on in another video I'm going to uh, try to uh, show you this. We're actually we get some type of number readout. It's just an arbitrary reference number. Uh, but anyway what I did was, and the reason for this was that using the, the one inch uh, N52 magnets uh, the distance to where I put in the center, the distance to the start of the winding was considerable. So I wanted to move that mag field farther in. So in doing so, I was able to build the three and a half inch uh, for, uh, coil. Now then I wondered, what would happen if I took each one of the 24 pedals and bend them upward, uh, thus reducing diameter of the, uh, of the uh, total coil? and there was actually uh, really no difference whatsoever. So it's just the the vertical winding stack uh, based on the rodent pattern inside the coil that has anything to do with the magnetic field. So uh, the more turns you have the greater magnetic field you'll, you'll have. So I'm my first Bedini is going to be a pendulum Bedini and uh, I uh, got to have enough clearance so the pendulum uh, pushes through the, uh, uh, the center of the whole of the uh, Starship coil. And this is another uh, view of it. It it's almost looks like it's a cup with a hole in the bottom. Now I think I can probably go down to a three and a, uh, and, uh, I'm sorry, I, I told you wrong. I started, I, this was a three and three quarter inch I built. And I think I can go down to a three and a half because there's a lot of give to the windings around the center there. So um, it probably will fit on real tight on the outside of the plastic coil, but that's fine. But actually the one I did at three and three quarter uh, is um, quite satisfactory for this. There's just a little bit of movement right to left. Uh, the other thing to deal with is the two uh, poles on both sides of the coil. I'll look into that next time.